Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yes! Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire. <laughs> and I'm super excited to be scrutinizing another Lindy Hop video today. It looks as if this is another Jack and Jill competition from TBK 2019 Showdown. It is the all-star level, which for me is the highest level of competition for Jack and Jills. Don't get it twisted. That invitational level is a little tricky. You may not always get people trying their hardest, but the all-star, these people have something to prove, and I can't wait to get into this and tell you what I thought about this competition after this video. So let's get right into it. Hey. This is gonna be good. <clears throat> let's get down into it. It's a short video, so I'm assuming it's gonna be two couples, and it is. All right, right now my attention is going to the couple on the right. It's just the energy level is higher. And they grab my attention. Okay. I like that hand. <laughs> yes. Round two. They're both both out of options, and this is a finale. <laughs> Just falling on the floor. <laughs> ah, that's good. I, you know, I love, I love when people have fun with it. I know I love the competitive parts about it, and I, I like the aggressive nature of competitions. But it's great to just see people having fun too. Let's talk about this one. So, um, when I first looked at this one, I can tell you right now, I have to judge these dancers at a different level because this is in Korea. And for me, when I assess dancers in that region, for whatever reason, they are more technically proficient than any other dancers uh, in the world. And so 
Uh, clearly, the objective part of Lindy Hop that I have to judge is the control part of Lindy Hop. And that basically is the call and response nature of the technique. Um, that's, that really represents a small part of Lindy Hop, which really is the part that everyone's struggling to learn. And uh, it can sometimes be confused with things that are really just subjective, but there's just a few objective things. And that's what I initially go to when judging competitions. And to be open and honest with you guys, these dancers could dance. They didn't have any technical problems. I could clearly see the leader doing their role, the followers doing their role. They look at like one body effectively moving together, uh, sharing energy at different points. Now, I will say, knowing that, uh, within the first 10 seconds of watching them, I immediately had to go into some of the other areas that I think about when I judge dancers at this level. And I, I'm really hard on the dancers who have the technical ability because everyone can do it once you get to a certain level. And the real challenge is being able to be creative and be different, uh, but yet still somewhat constructive and controlled at the same time. And I think a lot of times um, with this level, a lot of the dancers play it safe uh, because they've been working so hard on their technique. They've polished it. They've worked it out. They've gotten all the kinks out. It's kind of scary to just try something different without having the risk of messing the entire thing up and uh, jeopardizing the, the, the overall aesthetic of control and, and ability uh, that you would have at this level as a dancer. And I get that. So my critique on this one was different. My critique was different. And, and honestly, I think it's a draw. When I watched both couples, um, I felt both couples were emphasizing the timing of the music. They were both doing it in ways that weren't really like super creative and different. There were some quirky things that I liked on the couple on the right, you know, shaking the hand and doing this. Um, I think that's great. That's fun. But even with that, I, th I think it was just kind of like it, it kind of overstayed its welcome. You know, they did it like three or four times in a row. And, you know, obviously the audience likes it the first two times. But, you know, in watching that, it's, I could see like a sense of trepidation from dancers. They don't want to actually try different things. So I can honestly say it's a draw. I don't I don't really often have draws in my mind, but both couples could dance. Both couples had some timing, but both couples really didn't have anything that was completely different. Nothing that was completely original or even familiar done a little differently. I've seen all the moves before. Um, so it's not bad dancing. Not at all. Granted, if I didn't know anything about swing dancing, I would think oh, it was just entertaining and it would actually inspire me to want to do it. But when I look at it and I'm judging this competition as an all-star level, I'm a little disappointed. This is like, this is the level where dancers have to start thinking about what the, the unique mark that they want to make on the swing dance. What is it about you that's different than the rest of us out here who can technically dance the same way? on a high level, but generally speaking, there are a few dancers who have a very distinct personality and a very uh, unique way of moving and manipulating the swing dance technique. And, and I always wonder, why aren't dancers pushing that hard at the, the all-star level? That's your time. You were the all-star and we're waiting to see who's next. So what do you guys think? I don't know. This, this is just me. This is how I feel about it. I, I feel like it's a little underwhelming when the technique's high and it's kind of a homogenous type experience. And I don't like that. I don't like that. I, I, think, I think it kind of undercuts the potential of the dancers out there um, who are coming up behind them. They might see them and say, well, I got to do exactly what they did to be able to do whatever, like travel and teach or be able to be recognized in this high level competition. But honestly, it's more than that. It's more than that. So anyway, that's my thoughts on it, guys. It's a complete draw. 
What do you think about this competition? What do you think? Let me know why you think the way you think about it. Because we all have certain feelings when we watch competition, including all the people sitting in the audience. Um, we can't just like yell out how we really th think about it. But I do. I like to get on YouTube and talk about how I feel about what I just saw. So I want to hear what you have to say. Make it civil. Let me know who you thought was the best dancer. Do you think it wasn't a draw? Maybe you think there was a clear winner. But for me, it was a draw. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you guys are wanting to work on Jack and Jill stuff, let me know. I've got a, a lot of free courses that can really help you get on the right track on understanding how to manipulate this technique so that you don't get so caught focused on the difficulty of the objective part. It's such a small part of Lindy Hop. It really is. And once you understand it, then it really will liberate you to start doing extra things that really highlight who you are uniquely as a dancer. And hopefully I can help you with that. So check those courses out if that is of interest to you. So like I said, let me know who you thought should have won this competition in the comment section. And if I don't see you on uh, one of my classes online, hopefully I will see your comments in the next reaction video. Take care.